and welcome to Sketch Together. My name is Pablo Stanley. This is part of a crash course on Framer, a tool for designing and prototyping projects. On this video, we're going to get an intro to the Code tab. This is just an overview of the workflow to use code when creating interactions in Framer. Just the basics. Let's get started. A good way to get you started on Framer is by using some of the beginner tutorials examples that they give you on the starting page. Here you have a beginner tutorial file and some flows examples, the states examples, and other cool features on Framer. Let's begin with the beginner tutorial. Here you'll see a tutorial file that will teach you some of the basics of using design and code on Framer. This is a good way to get your hands dirty and understand how you can design and code on Framer. Framer recommends setting up your designs directly on the design tab. It has been optimized for code-based interaction design work, so it's highly intuitive and responsive. Another way to use Framer is to import your designs from Sketch, Figma, and Photoshop. You do this by going to the Code tab and then hitting Import. Then you will see the options to import from Sketch, Figma, or Photoshop. On the Code tab of Framer, you'll see a preview window that gives you real-time visual feedback of any changes that you make in the design or the code. You can also drag, drop, and resize layers directly in this window. To view your design on multiple screens, simply select from the drop-down menu of devices in the top navigation bar. Pretty cool stuff. 